Hello and welcome to Let's Make Tracks Special Days Out. I'm on a train! Welcome back to the channel. This time we take another day trip out with myself, Little Red, and also join us Lady Red, where we visit the Spa Valley Railway in Royal Tunbridge Wells, Kent. Covering five and a half miles from Tunbridge Wells West all the way to Eridge, the railway is a former part of the Cuckoo Line. It was more of a reconnaissance mission to get some photos and videos of um, the station and the surrounding infrastructure to help me build my TT120 layout. But it just so happens that we accidentally stumbled across the diesel gala that was occurring on the same day. So that was a piece of luck. So a good look around the engine shed just to see what the interior looks like. I've had a good look on YouTube already and other images to get some good reference material but nothing quite beats going to the site yourself and having a good look around. I am really hoping that West Hill Wagon Works makes these uh, locomotive lifting jacks in TT scale 120 soon because this is something I would love to replicate especially with my welding scene that I'm planning for the layout. The locomotive pits, I've recently installed these on my layout, converting the PECO 00 kits into TT120, that was a pain. Good look at all the back walls and the ceiling that, understandably, people usually don't take photos of these angles when they come visit places like this, so this was a must for me. So this was filmed towards the end of our visit to the Spa Valley Railway when uh, the crowd had died down a little bit and it was a bit quiet so I was able to get all the footage I needed all the photos but this is really useful even going as far as to look at the uh, warning lines for the loco pits seeing the dirt they've got down there all the other bits and pieces scattered around someone's wheels over there <laughs> all the details I wouldn't normally get to see so well worth the trip hopefully my model will come out looking half as good as these photos so at the beginning of our visit we just missed the uh, 1230 departure to Eridge behind uh, 31430 obviously not in view the locomotive in view now, 33063 RJ Mitchell in rail freight grey, British Railways Type 3 Bobo Class 33. Built in January 1962 at Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Works. Spa Valley Railway Home Fleet 75F. And here we see RJ Mitchell undertaking a little bit of shunting in the yard to, I assume, move one of the steam engines out of the shed, which is, uh, I assume, got a warming fire in it at the moment and is uh, potentially filling the shed up with a bit of smoke. So I can only assume that they're swapping the engines around to alleviate the fumes.
2890 Douglas in BR Black was originally an 060 Hunslet Austerity tank engine built in 1943 at Leeds for the War Department. Rebuilt in May 2002 at the Bid Hans Railway in its current configuration to portray number 10 Douglas from Thomas the Tank Engine. The locomotive is currently on loan from the East Lancashire Railway. Eight two eight Caledonian Railway Class eight one two in its Caledonian blue livery, built in eighteen ninety nine at the St Rollox Works in Glasgow. Currently on loan from the Strathsbury Railway. Eight two eight is the sole survivor of her class. is the true basis for a certain pair of uh, fictional Scottish twins so ironically you have 828 and 2890 Douglas on the same railway at the same time so you could say that Donald and Douglas are currently together at the Spa Valley Railway coincidence? I think not At 13.05, visiting class 25, D7535, arrives with its train from Erich. Having completed its shunting manoeuvres, R.J. Mitchell comes out of the yard to take charge of the train now destined for Groombridge and Erridge. Thank you. 
train, now under control by RJ Mitchell, departs Tunbridge Wells West at 13.50. Just beyond the station over the bridge, we pass the sidings with vehicles waiting for their turn in the restoration queue. Good afternoon, welcome to the Spa Valley Railway and our annual diesel gala. And welcome on board this 1315 Lodge. We'll be calling at Groom Bridge and Erich. We do have a buffet car situated second coach from the front of the train, serving tea, coffee, light refreshments, also real hours, wine and spirits. We hope you enjoy your visit with us today. At 13.31, we depart Groombridge Station, passing D7612, waiting patiently in the loop for the single track section into the station. We arrive at the end of the line, Erridge, at 13.40. Here we see Class 31, 31430, Sister Dora, backing down in preparation for the 14.00 back to Tunbridge Wells West. Built by brush traction between 1957 and 1962, Sister Dora is currently a member of Spa Valley Railway's 75F fleet. In the bay platform is the BR DMU Class 207 Thumper in BR Blue and Grey livery. Built in 1962 at Eastleigh, the diesel multiple unit is currently a member of the Spa Valley Railway 75F fleet. At 13.45, the Thumper departs on the shuttle service to Groombridge.
a local service passes on the opposite platform in the network rail side of the station on the Oxted line towards South Croydon. The Brush Type 2 Sister Dora departs Erridge at 14.00 towards Tunbridge Wells West. Eridge Station was opened the 3rd of August 1868 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. The Spa Valley Railway reopened their section to Eridge on the 25th of March 2011. The 1425 arrival sees the two visiting Salsa Type 2 locomotives from the South Devon Railway double heading with D7612 in BR Green as pilot engine currently on loan and the train engine D7535 again in BR Blue visiting for the gala. Both Class 25s were built at Derby Works in 1965 in batches 2 and 3. RJ Mitchell manoeuvres itself in preparation to take the train on for the return journey. Thumper returns at 14.40 on its regular shuttle service.
with the single track now clear, we board the 1445 back to Groomsbridge, running parallel to the network rail line until we reach the former Birchden Triangle. This spur would have originally continued past Tunbridge Wells West and onto the Hastings line and onward to Charing Cross. On the left we pass more storage sidings with dilapidated rolling stock in storage and I'm pretty sure some of the parts from the locomotive I remember fondly from my childhood, Topham who last ran at the Stone Lodge Railway in Dartford during the 90s. Tickets please. And at the end of this siding was the Ashurst Junction, leading on to the Triangle also. The line would have curved round to join the network rail commuter service we saw earlier. The Spa Valley Railway had used the spur as a storage siding for many years, but the landowners had recently requested the land return. There was a delay getting into Groomsbridge Station as the Class 10 Colonel Tom line D3489 occupying the track in the other direction was struggling to keep up with the timetable due to its slow speeds. Banking the rear, the class 73, 73140. Making its way through the rain, the thumper returns to Groombridge on its regular shuttle service at 1524. Having alighted passengers, 1317 shunts itself onto one of the storage sidings out of the way of the two trains now approaching in both directions. The first train to arrive is the 1550 service to Groombridge from Erridge, double headed by the two Solvers. Pulling into the loop, to await clearance into the station. At 15.46, the Class 31 Sister Dora returns with her train from Tunbridge Wells. Sister Dora departs Groombridge, clearing the way for the waiting 25s.
The original Groom Bridge station was opened the 1st of October 1866 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. When British Railways closed the railway in 1985, the tracks were lifted and on the subsequent track bed, a new residential building was erected, thus preventing the Spa Valley Railway from reopening the original site. The new station is located just the other side of the bridge, but still uses the original building. The Class 33 pulls in with the 1633, while Colonel Tomline, now running solo, waits in the loop beyond the platform. The Class 10 shunters were a variant to the earlier Class 08 Gronks. D3489 in Flexi Stowe Docks Black was built at Darlington between 1957 and 1958. Colonel Tomline was working its final weekend at the Spa Valley Railway as its owners had recently sold the locomotive. I have no current information about the future location of this locomotive. We board our final train for the day, the 1633, back to Tunbridge Wells West, behind the Class 10 Colonel Tom Line. Just prior to the station, we see the opposite siding to the one seen earlier. In the siding, we can see a tender. It belongs to one of the Battle of Britain class locomotives, either the unrebuilt 257 Squadron or Sir Keith Park. Also, another diesel locomotive under tarpaulin. I am unable to identify this locomotive at this time. Yeah. 
afternoon, we shortly be arriving back into Tunbridge World West. Please note the Class 10 locomotive will be in operation tomorrow on the uh, freight services, which will carry passenger con conveying accommodation in the Queen Mary Bray van. That's on set F on tomorrow's services. So now the next departure for this service will be at 17.15 with double headed class 25 so we're going to be here for about 25 minutes. British Railways Class 73 Bobo 73140 was built between 1965 and 1967. This is the first example to be preserved. I later learned that the last train of the day was a triple header after we left. So next time we will have to plan our day out on purpose. Goodbye for now.